Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Hopefully you are having a great, I believe it's Wednesday, maybe it's Tuesday. I think it's Wednesday though, whatever day of the week it is, thank you for tuning in today. Today we are going to be checking out a drivable yacht, which is one of those gigantic yacht things in GTA, but you can actually drive it. Um, there are a few bugs with this obviously because it's kind of not really possible in the base game, so someone modded it in. Um, so if you have multiple people on it, which I did test it out, they kind of do fly off. I'm not sure if that will be fixed or if that's even possible to be fixed, but overall it's still a cool, uh, type of resource and I wanted to share how you can get it on your own server. Obviously this is for server only, only this is a server side script. Here's some announcements before we begin. Uh, we do have an ESX tutorial coming very soon. We're getting back into 5PD coding, and we also have some client-side installs coming about sirens and weapon sounds and stuff. So lots of cool things coming very soon, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. But in order to download this and get it working, all you have to do is go ahead and click the download link. It will take you over to a Google Drive thing, which will then say, hey, we can't preview this file. You can just ignore this and click download. Click download anyway once again, even though it couldn't scan for... Uh, uh, viruses you can just ignore that um, you also want to open up your server folder and make sure you're in your server to data folder and go into resources now you're gonna open up this dart raw file inside you'll see there is a folder this is the folder you're gonna go ahead and drag over to your resources folder so we're just gonna drag it over to our resources folder and in here you can see there's a stream folder and we're just gonna take note of this name this is the name that you'll use to spawn it in with your trainer so make sure to stay tuned for that because we're gonna show it off once we get in anyway you're gonna go back to your server data you're gonna right click on your server.cfg file edit it with notepad or notepad plus plus and in here you're just gonna add a new line under your starter ensure and then the name of the folder and this time it's y a l u x e so you're just gonna type that save it and start your 5M server, you are good to go. You can close out this folder. All right, so we're gonna go in and start it, get into the game, and let's see what it looks like. I always like to mention in your console, you can see the started resource, the folder name, that's how you know it started. So if you're ever wondering how is it started, what's working, uh, you can see it's right there. Started resource and then the name of the folder we have. So I'm gonna hop into the server and I'll be right back. All right, we have gotten into the game. I still apologize for that little visual glitch. I'm still working on that, and it seems to only be affecting me on this server. So don't exactly know why, but I will be looking into that. And it seems to have stopped right when I start talking. There we go again. Anyway, we're going to type in the vehicle name. This is the vehicle name that we just had in the folder. And when we type it in, we spawn the yacht. And obviously, I might have spawned it too far away from the ocean, but I think I can just crawl it into the ocean over here, and we are good to go. But there you go. The yacht has been installed. You can drive this around and have fun. Obviously, the turning radius of this thing is, like, negative 10. But, um, yeah, have fun driving around a yacht. I do apologize for the blinking screen. Again, I am looking into that. Um, but overall, very nice resource by the author. I really like the brightness of the yacht with all the lights on. It looks a lot better than that dark yacht over there, which is the default one that comes with the fixed holes on the map thing. But overall, very, very nice. Play around with your friends with this. Have fun. You can obviously walk around this whole thing. Um, just press F to get out of it and you can walk around and have fun. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really cool. Keep up the good work. Hopefully you make some more of these, uh, gigantic vehicles movable in the future. And obviously if you have any questions, ask the author. Otherwise, leave your suggestions for future videos down in the comments below and I'll be happy to check them out. I will see you tomorrow.